Hey there, in this video we will discuss about Google Data Analytics Certificate and whether it's still worth taking in 2023. Before we get started, based on my previous videos, I understood that majority of my channel viewers are between the age group of 18 to 24, fresh grads who do not have an idea about what data analytics is all about but would like to explore the field and find a job in the data science family. So I'm creating this video specifically for you guys. Uh, so do stick around till the end. I will let you know what the next steps are to be followed after completing this certificate. I have categorized this video into five different sequence. So you can tune in based on your interest. Uh, number one, what is data analysis? A data analyst gather the data from various sources, clean the data, load or transform the data, study or analyze the data to solve a problem or create a report which will help the stakeholders make informed decision. The ultimate focus or the objective is to make informed decision out of the historic data. The final report could be in any format, either a presentation or visual presentation or email or a documentation. Number two is the target audience. Who is the certification for? This course specifically targets the fresh grads who are not aware of the data analytics processes and procedures and the supporting tools. If you are already in the field of data analytics, then this is not the right choice for you. In addition, if you are pursuing a data analytics major, then this is not the right choice for you because this could be again a repetition of the majority of the concepts that you've already learned uh, during your college. Number three, course overview. This is a professional certificate offered by Google in the Course Era platform and this was launched in the year 2021. This has been already enrolled by more than 1.5 million people, one of the most popular courses in Coursera for data analytics. I legit it is one of the fastest way to gain knowledge about data analytics. If you enroll this course for 6 months, it costs you around 3448 and if you enroll for 2 months, it costs you around 2000 to 99 INR there are financial aid options available if you can make use of it this specialization contains eight courses it starts from foundation of data uh, gather data using SQL cleaning data process and analyze the data using our programming language and visualize the data using tableau and finally is the capstone project this is a highly video loaded uh, content but in a good rhythm the skills gained in this course will be google sheets uh, which is much easier than excel sql then our programming language then w for visualization this course actual duration is for six months after 10 hours per week pace but i completed this course in two months with my full-time job if you are a fresh grad, if definitely it doesn't take more than two months, please ensure you give importance to the capstone project. This will help you put all the skills that you have learned throughout this course and implement them in the actual project. Finally, is it worth taking in 2023? Of course it is. The answer is yes, definitely worth taking in 2023 if you do not have an idea about how the data analyst work in a real time project then this gives you more understanding about the data analyst or data analytics process and procedures number four is what i wish could have been better in this course there are more critics about why python is not being included in this course i felt the same way personally uh, there are many following for python more libraries than our programming language however uh, some of the libraries in r are not available in python but there is a new course introduced by google called advanced data analytics which was launched very recently a few months back which includes dedicated 24 hour course exclusively for python 
which I really appreciate. In addition, uh, what I felt could have been better is uh, a minimum or a basic statistics knowledge could have been included in this course because uh, a basic statistics would have helped your descriptive analysis to implement better. But uh, like I said before, uh, in the new data analytics or advanced data analytics course, they have included uh, statistics analysis as a chapter or a course, uh, which I'm really excited to know about. Uh, I will do another video reviewing advanced data analytics certificate very soon. Number five, what the next steps are to be followed after completing this certificate. As the demand increases, the supply is also increased proportionally. It is essential for you to understand how you distinguish yourself from others. So once you have decided that this is the career path that you are willing to follow and that is what interests you, then please ensure that you make use of some of the websites that offer you free data sets and problems and so on. For example, uh, Maven Analytics, Analytics by Video or Kegel and so on. Start creating your project portfolios. These project portfolios will help building your confidence and understand where you're interested in, which domain you're interested in. So you can start applying to that specific companies respectively. So once you decide taking this course or you have already taken this course, do let me know in the comment section. I am really interested in understanding what is your viewpoint and definitely it has created a positive impact in me and other colleagues who have taken this course finally i would like to appreciate all the new subscribers to my channel you guys are recognizing my work and i really appreciate that it means a lot thank you for that and i will see you in another one bye